now let's try to understand in fiori yeah, how can we use a right fiori app and upload a journal ledger entries directly so for that first find out the right fiori app go sap fiori apps library just go here so go to all apps yes key the journal so not journal let's upload journal so this is a fiori app this is a fiori app id this is all about this fiori app how can you use it and all so as a basic if anybody want to use this fiori app they should have this uh, role access configuration yeah here there will be a role for every fiori app there is a business role you should have this business role access with your profile otherwise you could not able to use this fiori app so let's go to the fiori directly so let's find out the fiori app go to your profile find app finder type here upload so maybe it will fetch others also specifically let's try upload journal yeah so do please do remember this is just to update general ledger entries not a vendor invoice not a customer advice for that purpose you have to use different fiori apps so make sure you are in the right fiori app just go to the profile and about that just check the app id f2548 see the same app id f2548 here first thing you have to download the template for the first time download the template uh, which language you you prefer and uh, which template format is it a spreadsheet or a csv comma or a semicolon you just choose your choice and system will download the app so system will download the particular uh, i would say the attachment just go here this is the latest one why i'm uh, uh, doing this video because initially the people know for them it's very good for the first time people are trying for them it's very confusing what to fill what not to fill so there are few fields extra fields whether i need to fill them if i'm not filling them whether i could able to post the entry or not to avoid that confusions i am recording this video so default here you have a two entry selection you you see one two two entries at a time you can post but if it is not needed you just delete the other entry lines and just do it for one batch id if you want to give a particular tracking purpose so id one two three like that you can give otherwise leave it blank it's not a mandatory field. these are the mandatory fields here you see few are with star right here you need to fill the data so to save our time i've already uh, saved this data let's go here this is the same time i just fill the company code document type and format date format currency and had the date of a journal entry likewise item details i fill the company code gl accounts and uh, item text and how much amount to be debited and how much amount to be credited so this is my p and l line so i have also added a cost object this is a cost center so likewise based on your fee status controls also what fields needs to be filled in a template you just fill the fields accordingly once this is done you just save it uh, in your local drive uh, i'm telling you again if in case if you fail to give any like if you fail to give Mm, right information in a template definitely you will get into errors based on the error law you can correct the uh, values in the template again and do a re-upload it will work let me go now and try to upload it so select the template 
so this is a template we have filled journal entry template one so just save it and close it so just uh, just uh, pull the same template see this can be uploaded it is still there now just click on post just ignore and post that is just a warning see the entry is posted you see the journal entry 147 is recorded in company code INE1 so the same entry if you want you can display here also manage journal entries another fury app it will take time but let's click on it so it will open entry otherwise you can see the same entry in, in your GUI also it is 03 so what was the number 147 I guess what is the document number 147 you just give 147 and your company code you see the entry is posted so you see this is posted to through fury app abcd underscore p001 this is how the transaction code will appear similarly in fury also you see this is a header information we have filled in a template so and these are a gl account right this is a debit and this is a credit if you want to see further details on this line item you just click here i will show you so what we have filled so what is the cost center we have given like that you can see it so very important what to be filled how to fill you might have confusions accordingly make sure your input data is correct you're filling the required fields in the header and line item level and just upload it that's all so the primary thing is if you are not having this role access as i told you you could not able to process in that case connect with fury developer uh, uh, along with your basis consultant they'll provision you the role access based on your uh, job profile so that's all uh, this is just uh, one example likewise when whenever you have a requirement with the fury apps find out the right fury app uh, check the right role and go to the fury and work through it thanks